Hey guys, in this video we're going to give you a quick introduction to Vue.js and Vue.js is a front-end JavaScript library. It is very small and lightweight compared to a lot of the more complex like Angular, Backbone, and other kinds of JavaScript frameworks. Vue.js is very simple to use and very easy to get started and that's why we're going to give you an introduction to this amazing library. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that I will want to do is I will want to create a new folder inside of my projects folder, and I'm just going to name this view, and then I will want to bring this into my favorite text editor, and I will create a new file and save this as index.html. Okay, and then I'll want to create an empty HTML page, and I will just give this the title of view.js intro. And then we will also need to include the view JavaScript file. Okay, so we could go to viewjs.org, we could click on install and download the library and put it on our machine and then link to that library. But for simplicity's sake, we're gonna go to cdnjs.com, search for view, and it gives us a library that we can link to right here. So we will include this in our HTML page. And then the next step that we will do is create an empty element and just call this app. And this is where our view data is going to render. Basically we're saying inside of this element, this is where we want all of our view magic to happen. So if we go to viewjs.org, you could scroll down and you could see like they have a 10 second example. They also, if you go to the guide, they have a lot of the examples that we're going to go through, such as the hello world, two-way data binding, rendering a list, and you could go through each of the documentation and check it out for yourself. It's really easy to use and uh, it's very cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to our project and we will need to include some JavaScript at the bottom of our page. Okay, and then we need to create a new view object. And inside of this view object, we need to specify which element we want to use, uh, which element in our application do we want to render all of our view variables? Do we also want to listen for events? So the element that we want to use is going to be our app ID. And the next thing we're going to specify is data. And we want to specify different variables that we want to use inside of our app element. So I'm going to just create a new variable and just call this message. And I will give it the message of hello world. And then inside of our app element, we can do the double curly braces and we can output message. So using the double curly braces will output to the screen. It will basically render this message and print out hello world. So let's go ahead and save that and open up our index.html. And sure enough, you can see hello world on the screen. So that's great. We have our variable outputting to the screen and we could go ahead and change this to hello Vue.js and we save that, re reload, and it's going to give us that new output. Okay, and let's continue on with this two-way data binding. So we are going to create a new input and we are going to say that we want this input to model after the message variable. So what this is going to do is it's going to, inside of our input, put the value of the message in there. And anytime we change it, it's going to, going to change this message variable throughout our application. So let's save that, let's reload the page, and you see that we have this text box up here that has hello Vue.js. Let's go ahead and change that to hello world. And you can see that the message variable automatically gets changed, and anywhere throughout our page that we have that message variable, it is automatically going to be changed. So you can see that this is where that two-way data binding happens that is really amazing and really cool. Then the next thing that we want to do is go through lists. Let's say that we have an array of elements and we want to list that out in an unordered list. So let's say that we have UL and we have a list element. And let's go ahead and create an array down here. And let's just call this items. And we will say item one, item two. You know, those are boring. Let's go ahead and uh, call this food items. And let's go ahead and change this to hamburger, hot dog, and fries. Okay, let's save that. And then inside of our list, we're going to use, this is a view syntax. We're going to say v-4. So that's view four. Then we want to say 
food. Actually, let's just say food in food underscore items. And then let's go ahead and just print out that food. So let's save this. Let me make sure I have everything correct. Okay, let's save that, reload the page, and sure enough, we have our list rendered out here in our unordered list. So that's great because we can loop through a bunch of elements, say that we're working with an API, and the API returns a list of things. We could easily list that out using this for syntax. Okay, and the last thing that we want to talk about are events. So let's go ahead and create a button and then attach a method to it and kind of show an alert. So let's go ahead and create this new button. And let's save that and reload. If we click on the button, nothing's gonna happen because we have not attached any kind of methods to this button. So let's go ahead and do that. Inside of our view object, we need to create methods and inside of here is going to be all the methods that we can use inside of our application. So let's go ahead and call this button click. And inside here we'll just simply alert out, hey, I was clicked. And right here we need to add an event so we will say v-on and then the event is going to be click and then we will pass it this method that we want to run. So let's save that, let's reload, and then sure enough, we click on the button and it runs that method and we get this alert notification. So that is the basics of Vue.js uh, that shows you two-way data binding, how to loop through elements and the event clicks. And there is so much more to learn with Vue.js. I would recommend checking out their website and we will have more videos on Vue.js later but this was just a quick introduction to get you started using Vue.js.